Here he goes. Stephen Hawking dropping in on the giant vert ramp. This Picking is up speed. Just drop a little sunlight right along this curve here. See how that makes it pop? Go five, six, seven, eight. Step, pop, pop. Hips to the right. Left arm up. Cross it. Good. Right foot in. Snap. Got it. And twist point clap lift. Yeah, so if it wasn't for the pure absurdity of these clips, I mean, we're at a point where AI is completely indistinguishable from real life. Honestly, I think this is getting pretty crazy, and someone needs to rein it in. Right. Fuck off! Whoa, hey, hey, stop the, hey, stop the vehicle! So I definitely don't advocate for deepfakes, and I do think there is a real risk there. But with that being said, I also think it's important to understand what these tools are capable of. So in this one, we're going to be talking about the top craziest deepfake tools that exist right now. Night experts are tracking a surge in realistic AI deepfakes spreading online. These synthetic videos are moving faster than the corrections meant to stop them. We can fabricate a convincing clip in minutes. That should concern everyone. Authorities urge caution with... Yeah, so I literally did no work at all to create that. I literally just typed in public service news montage warning viewers about AI deepfakes. And that's how easy it is to make these type of clips. So that was, of course, made with Sora 2, which is also what all those clips were in the intro of this video. And most of us are familiar with Sora 2. I'm not going to go into much detail about that. Instead, we're going to look at some of the alternatives, which some of them are open source uncensored and free to use for unlimited times if you use it on your own machine. Okay, so let's take a look at the first one, which is Wan Animate. So what you're seeing right now is, is crazy. crazy. We are crossing a line in human history where the boundary between reality and fiction is, is vanishing. vanishing. And this, this is, is not, not Hollywood billion dollar high production studio. This is so Wan Animate is getting a ton of attention for this use case right now. Shout out to Sirio. He's got um, a lot of really cool tests using Wan Animate if you want to come check out his Instagram account right here. But I went ahead and tested some similar tools to see if one enemy truly is the best. And let's see if you can guess which tool this is. Let's take a look. Okay, starting off with our first test right here. Now, this is just a random generic character. Most video generators should have no problem with this. Let's test out, see how the hand uh, handles the coffee cup right here. And now switching into the character's voice. Let's go ahead and move on to the next character right here. So what you're seeing on the left-hand side is what's called a driving video. It's going to take the facial movements, lip sync, all of that, and bring it over to the image to bring that to life. And now moving on to the next character right here. The point of this is to see how these video generators can handle characters that are a little bit less human. Sometimes they start to lose tracking as you start to remove the human element and the human facial features. So moving on one more time, now we are completely uh, not human in this one. Uh, moving into the next one, this is just a samurai version of me, nothing special here, but we're going to switch this into an anime version of me to see how the generator is able to handle a cartoon or anime type uh, of image here. And so we'll see what happens with that and so now moving into the next one which is our first uh, famous character right here uh, Samuel L Jackson now this is where video generators become very very sensitive so we'll see if this makes it past censor censorship and if so let's bring it into the next even more famous character which is of course Taylor Swift this is where a lot of video generators are gonna start to have issues when once you start uh, bringing in these types of famous characters and so now moving into the next one this is our ai influencer spicy ai influencer type of character and the point of testing this is to see at what point the censorship becomes too much for these video generators this is kira in a semi uh, spicy outfit right here and if this doesn't cause censorship Let's go ahead and switch over to an even more spicy version of Kira and see if the video generators can handle this level of spiciness. So that was actually not Wan Animate. And in fact, that was actually Runway Act 2. And just so you can see the difference, let's take a look at these clips side by side. Okay, starting off with our first test right here. Now, this is just a random generic character. Most video generators should have no problem with this. Let's test out, see how the hand uh, handles the coffee cup right here. And now switching into the character's voice. Let's go ahead and move on to the next character right here. So what you're seeing on the left-hand side is what's called a driving video. It's going to take the facial movements, lip sync, all of that, and bring it over to the image to bring that to life. And now moving on to the next character right here. The point of this is to see 
how these video generators can handle characters that are a little bit less human. Sometimes they start to lose tracking as you start to remove the human element and the human facial features. So moving on one more time, now we are completely... Moving into the next one, this is just a samurai version of me. Nothing special here, but we're going to switch this into an anime version of me to see how the generator is able to handle a cartoon or anime type uh, of image here. And so we'll see what happens with that. And so now, now moving into the next one, which is our first. Uh, this is where a lot of video generators are going to start to have issues. Next one. This is our AI influencer, spicy AI influencer type of character. And the point of testing this is to see at what point the censorship becomes too much for these video generators. This is Kira in a semi-spicy uh, outfit right here. And if this doesn't cause censorship, let's go ahead and switch over to an even more spicy version of Kira and see if the video generators can handle this level of spiciness. So there you go, pretty interesting. Now it's important to note here that I was using the web version of Wan Animate, which means that it is going to have some restrictions and censorship if you're using the web version. But of course the reason Wan Animate is being talked about so much right now is because it is an open source tool, meaning you can install it on your computer, you can use it for free, and it is completely uncensored. And so so one of the easiest ways to install the open source version of One Animate is to come over here to a site called Pinocchio. Pinocchio is a platform that essentially allows you to run all kinds of different open source tools. So you want to come right here to download Pinocchio. And once you've installed Pinocchio, you can just come right over here to WAN 2.1 and install this into Pinocchio, which by the way, if you're new here, my name's Scotty and I've been making a full-time income online since 2015, but you know who's better at making money online than me? Meet Kira. And yes, she's AI. She's popular on social media. She helps co-host my YouTube channel. She's really good at singing. We create short films together. Now, or we lose the mask. Working on it. So look, if you want to learn how to not only make AI content, but how to actually monetize it and turn your views into money like a real business, that's exactly what we talk about in the Creator Secrets community on school. You can find the link for that down in the description below. But now back to the video. Once you have Pinocchio installed, it's going to look something like this. Now I have a bunch of different tools here, but in your case, you'll just see the one called Wand 2.1. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. If you've never used it before, first you're going to want to come right here to the left side, click install. Now this is 72 gigs. So this is a huge file. After it finishes, you'll just want to click start. And again, if you've never used this before, it's going to take some time to install right here. And so after it finishes, you should see a UI that looks something like this. So even though it says WAN 2.1, if you click this little drop down, you'll have access to WAN 2.1, 2.2, LTX. And then over here, you'll have a bunch of options as well. So in this case, we want to make sure that it's set on animate. Now I am working on a laptop, but it does have an NVIDIA 4090 with 16 gigs of VRAM. But as you can see here, this clip is 12 seconds long and it took two hours and 43 minutes to generate this clip. So look, I'm all for open source, especially if you like moving at the speed of snails, but at least for me personally, I'd much rather pay $100 per month for runway, have an unlimited plan and get much better quality than what Wan Animate is able to produce. I have no affiliation to runway, but in terms of my testing, runway just got far better results as far as I could tell. But Wan does have a few other tricks up its sleeve. Let's take a look. With Wan, I can not only just animate the character image, but I can actually swap out myself for the character. And so in this case, I can literally just take any image of any character and I can have that character come into the scene that I'm obviously sitting in right now and completely replace me. So while that's pretty cool, as you could probably tell, there was still a lot of issues going on with those clips. But what you might not realize is that once again, this is also possible inside of Runway. So with Runway, you have to use a sort of two-step process here. First, I just took the image of the old man and I put that in as the reference image. And I said, replace the man in the dark hoodie with the old man in white. And so after doing that, it's going to replace me, but it's not necessarily going to have the accurate lip sync. So after it generates the video, I want to come down to these actions and I'm going to come right here to use as character in act two. And this is where you would put in the actual driving video where it's going to put in the proper lip sync and body motions and everything like that. And so now replacing myself with runway again, this is kind of a, a two step process where in this case, we bring the image or the video into runway a left to replace the character. And then you have 
have to bring it into Runway Act 2 to actually give it proper lip sync, which is what you're seeing right now. But Juan has even more in its bag of tricks with another new release, Juan 2.5. Let's take a look. Another major leap forward with Juan 2.5. No longer have to pay 125 bucks a month for Google's VO3. This model outputs 10 seconds of 1080p cinematic shots with smooth camera movements. It's got perfect audio and lip sync with lifelike character Damn, performances so and multi-character scenes with realistic facial expression. So a lot of people are talking about Juan 2.5 like it's the greatest thing since sliced bread and it's better than VO3, etc, etc. However, there's actually another new model on the blog called OV by Character AI, and we can see some of the sample clips here. Who the hell is Mark? To cold like a month ago. It's cold now, okay? I could. You always give me extra foam. That's how I bribe loyal customers. Now, like Juan 2.5, OV is an open source tool and it's actually available on Pinocchio. So similar to the Juan models, you can simply install OV on Pinocchio. However, you can also access OV here on Foul AI. You can simply drop in your image, put in your prompt, and each video clip is going to cost about 20 cents, which is much cheaper than the alternatives. So are these open source tools a true VO3 competitor? Well, first of all, let's see if you can tell which clip belongs to which tool. This is my new Lambo. I think it's so cute and it really goes well with this dress. This is my new Lambo. I think it's so cute and it really goes well with this dress. This is my new Lambo. I think it's so cute and it really goes well with this dress. So were you able to guess which one is which? Let's see. This is my new Lambo. I think it's so cute and it really goes well with this dress. This is my new Lambo. I think it's so cute and it really goes well with this dress. This is my new Lambo. I think it's so cute and it really goes well with this dress. So as far as I can tell, VO3 is still going to give you the best result. But with that said, there are some obvious benefits to using open source alternatives. For me, again, I prioritize speed and quality. And so for that reason, I'll still be using VO3 the majority of the time. But VO3 can be a bit ridiculous with their censorship. And so it is nice that there are some alternatives to get your clips done if VO3 is simply not letting you make them. Now, as I was filming this video, Google just launched their newest model, VO3.1. Let's take a look. This is VO, the video generation model designed for creativity. New enhanced capabilities give you control like never before. Let's take a look. You can use a reference image, a location, a character, object, or a combination. VO puts them together into a fully formed scene, complete with sound. Hello, is anybody here? Great moments don't need to end. You can extend your clips and transform any shot into a full scene. And for ultimate narrative control, define the start and end points of your shot. VO bridges them with epic transitions. You can also reimagine any shot by adding or removing elements from subtle details to impossible objects. VO matches scale, lighting and shadow for seamless results. All this with astonishing detail, real-world physics, and cinematic outputs. Bring it all to life with audio, using sound effects, ambient noise, and dialogue. Just gotta listen. Push creativity to new limits with VO. So pretty awesome. I'll have to do a more extensive test on a future video, but I went ahead and ran the same Lamborghini clip using VO3 and putting that next to VO3.1 to see if there is any noticeable difference. Let's take a look. This is my new Lambo. I think it's so cute and it really goes well with this dress. This is my new Lambo. I think it's so cute and it really goes well with this dress. So there you go. It's definitely going to take a bit more testing to really see what 3.1 can do. But if you're looking for the best possible outputs with the best possible lip sync, the best possible sound that actually matches what's going on in the clip, I think it's going to be really tough to beat VO 3.1. And don't forget, if you want to learn how to not only make AI content, but how to actually monetize it on a professional level, be sure to join us in the community on school. That's it for this one. See you in the next video.